So really the low self-esteem is nothing but having this image inside our head that we think we're supposed to be and then comparing, judging and rejecting ourselves against that image. So when we experience the low self-esteem, it becomes so hard to even just express ourselves. Our voices start to crumble, our bodies start to close and then we start to filter our words so we don't end up saying something wrong. And because we feel so insecure and so unworthy from inside, instead of exploring and engaging and having fun with our lives, we start to withdraw and live within a circle of familiarity. And then spend all of our time rationalizing and justifying that. But the thing is, nobody born with the low self-esteem. If you look at a child, any child, you will notice that every child has a very healthy amount of self-esteem. A child is completely comfortable expressing himself. He can shout, scream, laugh, cry in front of people like crazy. He can even walk naked in the middle of a crowd without feeling no insecurity whatsoever. But then the question is, how do we develop this low self-esteem? We certainly didn't bone that way. And if you look into it, you will find that what happened to us is conditioning. As we grew up, everybody around us told us what is right, what is wrong, how we're supposed to be, how we're not supposed to be. And based on that information and our own need of acceptance, we end up developing this image inside our head that we think we're supposed to be. And now we are constantly judging and rejecting ourselves based on that image because we really believe we're supposed to be that image. So really the low self-esteem is nothing but having this image inside our head that we think we're supposed to be and then comparing, judging and rejecting ourselves against that image. And if you look into that image, you will find that most of the information in that image is simply not true. And because we built this image using opinions of so many different people, society and media, it's not even consistent. For every belief in our image, we have 10 different beliefs that we can always judge ourselves against. So it's not just that we are judging ourselves based on this image that we think we're supposed to be, but that image is not even true and there's no way we can ever satisfy it. So then the question is, how do we get out of it? So the first thing we need is this awareness that this is happening inside our head. And once you have that awareness, you will notice that we can't really stop the self-judgment. You can't just say that from now on, I will not judge myself. It doesn't work that way. Now we can change that image overnight because it's the product of repetition over decades. But what we can do is stop doing things that we know is wrong and start doing things that we know is right. And as I became more aware of it, I made a conscious choice that if I use a software, I will buy its license. And if I cannot afford that license, I would use some free alternative software, even if that means double the work and half the quality. And if I'm not happy with the quality, I will just leave the project until I can afford the license. But I will not use any pirated softwares. And not because I have very high <laughs> moral code of conduct, but because I know whether I'm aware of it or not, it's going to create a lot of self-judgment inside my head and self-rejection. And once I started to do that, I noticed something very interesting start to happen inside my mind. I still had the self-judgment, but instead of self-rejection, it turns into the self-respect. And that self-respect turns your self-esteem upside down. And once we start to experience this strong self-respect, we start to trust ourselves, our self-esteem starts to become more and more healthy. And once we have that healthy self-esteem, now we can change that image inside our head or even transcend this whole process of self-judgment altogether. So really the point is we didn't bone with the low self-esteem. We have a low self-esteem because we had this image inside our head that we think we're supposed to be. And then we are judging and rejecting ourselves against it. And once we have this awareness and we start doing things that we know is right and stop doing things that we know is wrong, that self-rejection turns into the self-respect and that self-respect becomes the foundation for a very healthy self-esteem. Hey guys, I'm Nitesh and I hope this video was helpful. So if you find this information useful, please subscribe, like or comment. And when you do that, it makes me feel so good, but then it also helps me to reach other people. And thank you very much for watching it.